Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we'll understand how to run parallel mediation analysis in Jamovi. A mediation analysis in structural equation modeling investigates how a third variable called a mediator acts as an intermediary between an independent variable x and a dependent variable y, explaining the mechanism through which x influences y. Now in case of parallel mediation, there will be two mediators m1 and m2. y1 will definitely directly influence y2 that is p3 but y1 will also affect y2 through the mediator m1 and mediator m2. So y1 to m1, m1 to y2, y1 to m2 and m2 to y2. The direct effect is p3 and indirect effects are p1 into p2 plus P4 into P5. These are indirect effects. The total effect will be the summation of the direct plus indirect. So the total effect is P3 plus P1 into P2 plus P4 into P5. Now let's see how we can run this in Jamovi. So for this, we will go on the interface of Jamovi. Value for the insurance has been measured with the help of three statements. One, two, three. Loyalty has been measured with the help of seven statements. One, two, three, four, five, seven and eight. Loyalty six is not there. Trust of the agents is measured with the help of four statements. TA1, TA2, TA3 and TA4. Trust in the company is measured with the help of four statements. TC1, TC2, TC3 and TC4. Now, you will have to install the SAM package first in Jamovi so that you can use structural equation model. So you will go in modules, click on Jamovi library and here you will write SAM, SEM SAM. Now press on install and this package will be installed. Now click here, you will get two options. You want to run SAM using syntax mode or the interactive mode. So go for the interactive mode. Here, I'll have to specify what is your endogenous constructs. So trust in the company, transfer it here, give the name trust and exo transfer value value add new Latin loyalty transfer it here add new Latin trust in the agents and give the name trust agents now go in the path diagram click here and just scroll on the right hand side this will give you the measurement model the confirmatory factor analysis See, you will have to convert this measurement model into the structural model. How we can do this? Let's see. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of these tutorials where I have already uploaded how to construct structural equation model, how to check the reliability and validity. So trust of the company is our endogenous and trust of agents, loyalty and value. They three are our exogenous. So what we will do, we will go in endogenous model and let's transfer value, loyalty and trust agents. So you can see here now, it is converted into the structural model. Trust agents, exo, loyalty, exo, value, exo, affecting trust company, endo. Now in this model, we want to say that the value for the insurance affects trust of the company directly, but it mediates, it mediates through loyalty also and trust of the agents also. So we want to introduce two mediators. So what we will do, we will go in uh, custom model settings and trust of the agents as it will now be the endo and the loyalty will also be the endo. So we will write it first. So let's see the wordings which have been used for trust agents. 
yes uh, trust agents and value so let's write it trust agents loyalty enter now no trust agents value not loyalty uh, i'll change this to value enter add directive loyalty value so trust agents is our endo and loyalty is also now endo add directive let's see the changes which appear done now see this diagram carefully value affecting trust agents directly value affecting trust uh, in the insurance company directly value affecting loyalty directly okay now loyalty uh, value affecting trust agents trust agents affecting trust in the company so trust agents is your first mediator m1 okay value affecting loyalty loyalty affecting trust in the company so loyalty is the second mediator first and second mediator m1 and m2 we want to find out which effect is more powerful so what we will do we will go here and in parameter options activate the indirect effects and just see value affecting trust in the trust agents affecting trust in the company value affecting loyalty loyalty affecting trust in the company it's just uh, this diagram just see here okay this diagram so is it significant or not that we will have to see see the beta value 0 0.301 and 0 0.121 and the p values are less than 0 0.05 so yes the indirect effects are significant and the more significant and the powerful effect is this one value affecting trust of the agents affecting trust in the company so this is how we can introduce the parallel mediation in jamovi you can also refer my playlist in which i uploaded many videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.